Hi, I'm Katie with Layman's, and today I want to talk to you about making mozzarella cheese at home. Our family loves to make mozzarella at home because it is so satisfying to be able to make a product that a lot of people believe you can only purchase in the grocery store. But we can make it at home and I can control the ingredients. I know what type of milk I'm using and it is so easy with this kit from Layman's. The mozzarella and ricotta cheese making kit is great for beginners. This easy to use kit includes the essential cheese making supplies you're gonna need to make mozzarella as well as fresh whole milk ricotta. You just add milk. Homemade cheese is great for authentic tasting Italian meals like pizza and lasagna. It only takes approximately 30 minutes and it can be used with any kind of low heat processed milk. This kit has everything you need except for your milk. Make sure you get your good quality milk because y'all, your cheese is only as good as your quality of milk, honestly. All right, let's look and see what we have in the kit. Citric acid is what is going to be added to the milk at the beginning of the process. The next product you're gonna need is rennet. Now you're gonna keep that refrigerated, so I have it in my refrigerator at home. Not showing that to you today, but it comes with a strip of rennet in your cheese making kit. You're going to heat the milk so it comes with a thermometer. Also, it includes cheese salt, which you're gonna to need to season your cheese. Very important step. The booklet guides you through the cheese making process. And butter muslin is used to strain the cheese if you want to use this. The instructions will guide you through using a strainer as well if you don't use the butter muslin. The booklet will guide you through the, the process, but the steps are really one, two, three. I think my favorite part is cutting the curds. That's such a fun step. And then of course, stretching the curds, that's a fun step too. So you're gonna want to get the children or the grandchildren involved in this project. So that's what's included in the cheese making kit. And then the result is going to look similar to this. Now, yours may be a different shape. You can do smaller balls. After you've stretched the mozzarella, you can form it into whatever shape you like. You can have smaller little pearls, as they say. You can have balls, logs, and you can even braid your mozzarella. You can also season the cheese with fresh herbs. You're limited by your imagination. That just dresses it up a lot. There's a difference in soft cheese and hard cheeses. Hard cheeses need to be pressed. This is a cheese that can be made at home easily in easily less than an hour. And there's also a difference in knives that are used to slice soft or hard cheeses. Layman sells this knife that is specifically designed to slice soft cheeses. The knife is also vented so that the cheese does not stick to the knife, which is a bonus for me. So it just slices very easily and you can even use the fork tip to serve the cheese. This is the stainless steel soft cheese knife, which is sold at Layman's. As I mentioned, there's a difference between hard cheeses and soft cheeses. This is your soft cheese, homemade mozzarella, and this is a hard cheese, like a cheddar cheese that you can either purchase or make at home. This is the marble cheese slicer. I love the marble because it has a sanitary surface, the cheese will not stick to it, and it slices perfectly so you can serve your sliced cheese in style. It is really easy to use. It slices like butter and it's perfectly even slices. And I love the marble because it is so beautiful and you can even serve the cheese on the marble after cutting. These products are sold anywhere Layman's products are available. Shop our store in Kidron, Ohio, where we're open every day except Sunday and always open at laymans.com. Let us help you take the next steps on your journey to a simpler life.